but I understand it was cold out there so all right Ooh, get a little workout I haven't worked in a while <laughs> We made it over here to uh, Effingham, Illinois. Illinois. We're at the Petro. Um, I want to straighten the trailer up before uh, we go get the truck washed. I've already got some fuel. So uh, I got some straps up there I got to get. Looks like I might need to re-roll some straps in there. And let's go over here. Take a look. So the old Dorsey trailer is pretty, uh, pretty dirty there. Um, we got our eight foot drops because that's what I had on the load when my truck broke down. We got to get those eight foot drops and put them in the boxes right here. Um, those four by fours, I got a spot for those. They need to go up under the trailer. These four by fours are gonna go right there. And eventually I'm gonna get a dunnage rack but uh, if you see those right there, that's where I put my 4x4s, my little ones. I mainly use these short 4x4s for uh, coils and stuff like that. But uh, when I loaded those big um, conduit, the metal conduit, they want uh, eight long 4x4s, if that makes sense. So I have to take two of them and put them together, if all that makes sense. So that's what we're going to do real quick. Um, I might re-roll re some of those tarps. The, the guy who, uh, the driver who took the load, he said it was so cold it was hard to get those tarps rolled tight. And I fully understand that, I believe that, so. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So to hold the wood up under the trailer there, I just use a two inch strap and I actually cut it down so it'll fit. And I'm gonna hit it with some WD-40 real quick. Make it a little easier to mess with later. And then I just take it and move it this way. like this and then the wood will drop over the wood like that so that's how I secure my uh, my dunnage across there So that's how I put my four by fours. Only thing you gotta make sure is make sure that they're not sticking out from the side of the trailer. So just take this strap. Oh, let's see if I can do this one handed. Just take this strap here, flip it over. And then hang on, I gotta, so take it over and then I just, flip it up like that and then I'll tighten it up and then like I said I cut this strap so it's just the right size you know I have to crank on it real hard just enough to hold them down in there and then the next thing is we're gonna put the uh, the little four by fours or the short ones up in that hole right there all right we got the four by fours put away 
Now I'm gonna take these tarps. Man, it is noisy out here. Airplane flying by. I'm gonna take these tarps, roll the tarps out, get them a little tighter, and then uh, we're gonna put them in between these two stacks in here. So you can see I got some padding. Some of that padding we put on the other side there. So as you can see, it's a little bit tighter. So, but I understand it was cold out there, so. All right, Ooh, get a little workout. I haven't worked in a while. <laughs> Let me get this other tarp done. All right, I got the tarps in the boxes. I got my padding distributed between the boxes. So what I've done with these boxes on the back side here, on the passenger side, this is stuff I don't use that often. My eight foot tarps, coil racks, my big rolls of padding, my little tarps. So what I've done over here is this is mainly everything I use often. So these are my uh, four foot drops right there and a couple pieces of padding. And then I got all my straps and that in there. I'm gonna pull those crates out, straighten up those straps. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, and we'll go over here, is uh, I like to have my winches separated. So I'll take five, let's see, I got two up there. We'll take five winches and put them up here. So we'll put five winches up in the front move up a little bit further hang on a second there we go so we're gonna put five winches there and then we're gonna move five winches over to here there we go we'll put five winches right there at least four winches in the back and then uh, we'll come over here we're gonna separate these winches so I keep 14 on this side and then I have six on this side here so uh, I run a 20 a total of 20 winches which uh, that doesn't count I got two pocket winches and I got two uh, four inch ratchet strap winches too so what's that 20 24 winches Total. and I have that many straps too. All right, let me finish up. I'll get the stuff out of the box. I'll let you guys see that, and then we'll clean that up, and then we'll go get a truck wash. All right, we're just about done here. I got everything straightened up. So, uh, so this is what I got here. Let me get out of the sun. Those right there are short straps. Those are only 20 feet long. I carry 12 of those and I probably use those probably 80 to 85 percent of the time those are long straps so 30 feet long I got uh, what's there five six seven eight I think there's eight in there and then I got another four in there and then I got another three right there so uh, I got enough long straps uh, and mainly the long straps are for like when I use uh, insulation stuff like that large crates uh, But I don't use the long straps very often 
And then we got four inch straps. So I got a total of six, uh, not four inch, two inch straps. Six, two inch straps. The bungees, it looks like I might need to get some more bungees. The box is looking a little low. That's just odds and ends stuff in there. And then I got my four inch winch and uh, my pocket winches right there. And that's just more odds and ends. My extension cord for my sleeper. And that's some um, tarping material. Carpet, I had somebody ask me carpet a couple days ago what the carpet's for. That's just to protect sharp edges. That's all that's for. Uh, comes in real handy, especially on like the wood, on the end of the wood. And then we got our four, four, four drop tarps in there. So everything looks good. All right, I'm gonna put all this away. Um, and then we're gonna go get the truck washed. And uh, I think I gotta do some laundry too. But um, I'll see you when we get to the blue weekend.